the Delta variant of the COVID-19 virus has boomeranged the country back to transmission levels we saw last February, erasing nearly a half a year's progress in fighting the pandemic. On the Brown School of Public Health's risk assessment map, the red-colored states are recording an average of 25 or more new daily cases per 100,000 people. Health officials deem communities with that level of transmission to be at a tipping point. The speed at which the virus is spreading is remarkable. Two weeks ago, the risk assessment map featured three red states. Last week, there were seven states in the red. Today there are 14. Travelers in the United States should pack a face mask regardless of their vaccination status. In the past week, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, revised its mask guidance due to new findings that breakthrough infections among vaccinated individuals are more common than previously thought. Health officials now recommend that even vaccinated people should wear face masks indoors in areas experiencing a high level of virus spread. While mask mandates are popping up around the country, some states still ban such mask mandates. This is most often the case in states with the lowest vaccination rates. Here are the 10 states with the highest community spread of COVID-19 in the US, according to data from the Brown School of Public Health. For the past month, Florida has been the epicenter of the pandemic of the unvaccinated. The Sunshine State is currently recording an average of 96.5 new daily COVID-19 infections per 100,000 people, according to Brown University data. That's an astonishing rise of 59% in one week and four times the threshold of what health officials consider a very high rate of spread. The vast majority of Florida counties are red and the remainder colored orange, over 10 new daily cases per 100,000 people, on Brown's risk assessment map. Less than half of Floridians are fully vaccinated. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis's executive order remains in place banning local governments from requiring face masks, even as the Orlando area is experiencing record-breaking infection levels. Yesterday, Disney World returned to an indoor mask mandate. The current level of transmission is of importance to people cruising out of Florida, which is home to the three largest cruise ports in the United States. Thanks to DeSantis's much-hyped but unpopular law banning so-called vaccine passports, cruise lines are prohibited from requiring passengers sailing from Florida to show proof of their vaccination status. With an average of 81.9 new daily COVID-19 cases per day per 100,000 people, a 73% increase since last week, Louisiana holds on to its no. 2 position for virus spread in the country. Only 36.8% of the state's residents are fully vaccinated, virtually no improvement since last week. Last week, New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell issued an indoor mask advisory as COVID-19 cases surge in the city.